word of life, word of grace. From the beginning, you spoke love into form, love into tangible being. From the beginning, you wove your grace into all we see and don't see. We gather this day in the beauty of creation to celebrate your love and grace. The love and grace we see in Adam and Ashley, whom we love so much. And Holy God, we ask that you bind them together. Bless them and keep them. Shine your face upon them for all their days to come. Be with us as we proclaim the power of love over all else. As we speak words of hope and celebration over these two. So they may know despite what comes their way, this community does and will always stand with them. In your holy and precious name we pray, amen. Adam, when we first met, there was something about you I couldn't shake, and I'm so glad that I listened to whatever it was that gave me the courage and the patience to stick around and wait for you. It's crazy how all of the dreams I had before you were a part of my life feel so empty without you in them now. I tried to think of a defining moment when I knew I loved you, and I realized there wasn't just one. It was a culmination of a thousand different moments, a multitude of choices, of exchanged looks and nudges. It was a beautiful whirlwind of kisses and conversations. Our love has been molded, grown, and stretched since first knowing each other. I want so badly to explain the love I have and feel for you in words, but love is a word that is much too soft and used far too often to ever describe the intimate and fierce feeling I have for you. Everything in me recognizes your heart as my home. Falling in love with you wasn't fast and hard. It was like slowly understanding that I'd never find home apart from you. Through our relationship, I have learned the true meaning of giving grace and receiving it. I admire your strength, your willingness to listen, your gentle heart, your ability to think two steps ahead, the way you constantly take care of the people around you, and even your insane love for math. <laughs> I wish I could vow that our future will have smooth sailing but the winds aren't mine to control. I do vow, however, to stand by your side through stormy seasons. I vow to love you when love is easy and when it's an effort. 
I vow to cherish you in the hardest moments. I vow to always push myself towards growth, to be the best partner I can for you, for me, and for us. I vow to be your greatest advocate and fight for you. I vow to catch all the spiders from here on out. I vow to clean the white duvet cover. I insist on being white. Even though I know you hate being able to see dog hairs on it. I think it's easy to find the goodness in any relationship when everything is good and joyful. But I'm continually transformed into a human I would have never become by the hard work it takes to truly love each other well. You sent me this quote from your favorite book over a year ago because it reminded you of our love. So yes, it had flaws, but what does that matter when it comes to matters of the heart? Oh God. We love what we love. Oh. Reason does not enter into it. In many ways, unwise love is oh. the truest oh my love. Goodness. I didn't want to guess. Anyone can love a thing because that's as easy as putting a penny into your pocket. But to love something despite, to know the flaws and love them too, that is rare and pure and perfect. I know tomorrow isn't promised, so whether we get 50 years together or five, I vow to cherish every kiss, touch, and smile. Our youth will fade, but your dimply smile will always remind me of the first time we really saw each other on that sunny day, throwing a frisbee while quoting The Office on the greenest grass Kansas has ever seen at Friends University. I choose you for all my yesterdays, especially my today, and all the days to come. I love you. Are you ready to Jeez. go get married? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. I, could go I feel like this the is a polar okay. okay. You look like you're about to look like you. To who? <laughs> Ashley, before you and before us, I will speak for myself and say I was not the person I wanted to be. Now, with you, I see generosity, loyalty, growth, and a beaming, life-giving future. With you, I've made the most amazing memories. The amazing memories that stick out, they all have one thing in common and you are there. With you, I got my first tattoo. With you, we've explored Arkansas. And with you, we've hiked miles and miles and seen the most amazing views. With you, I've grown in how I talk with others. 
striving to live without prejudice and bias with you I've changed how I perceive myself with you I've changed how I interact with the world being more aware of the mark I leave on those around me and the mark I leave on the world with you I've become the person I want to be after today I vow to keep trying I vow to never forget what it takes to be in a relationship I vow to love you always unconditionally after today we start our forever life together building what we have after today we become more of a team than we ever have been after today we grow together and become one we are together you are mine and i am yours it's the start of a family with our two beautiful hairy four-legged boys <laughs> today i vow my commitment my un unconditional love and loyalty to you. I love you, sweetie. Now that Adam and Ashley have given their, themselves to each other through their vows, through the receiving of rings, and also through the laying on of hands, I have the honor and privilege to us gathered today to declare that Adam and Ashley are partners in love and life. And you may now share the moment you've been waiting for. Kiss! Gracious Heavenly Father, we recognize and honor your presence here with us as we, as we witness the coming together of Adam and Ashley. You established the institution of marriage in your word, and we celebrate with Adam and Ashley as they commit themselves to each other. May your presence and workings always be felt as they begin their lives together as man and wife. Together, we speak blessings on Adam and Ashley May you be blessed with love. May your admiration, appreciation, and understanding of each other foster a love that is passionate, tranquil, and real. May this love between you be strong and enduring and bring peace into your lives. Adam and Ashley, the Lord bless you and keep you. 
The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace.